are headed to Monachi Meadows. We get there early in the afternoon, set up the tent, get some food ready, and explore the area a little bit. And we're gonna see how capable the Cybertruck is. supercharger that you will be charging at to reach Monachi Meadows because after that charger there's nothing for at least 60 miles to Monachi Meadows and then on the way back it's another 60 so you have to uh, consider a range that you're going to be going over 100 miles without any superchargers. It is low speed you're not driving over 80 miles an hour so you will have more range but uh, be mindful of your range. We have Starlink right there as you can see showing speed at 121 megabytes per second. We're moving at like 65, 70 miles an hour. Temporarily I put my Starlink right there but uh, we're gonna find a better way to take care of that later. Uh, be careful which trail you're on. So for that I use Onyx. So Onyx if you're watching me I like your maps sponsor. We're looking we're at 75% right here. You can see 75. If you look at the bottom here, it says Monachi Meadow. We're going to get there at 63%. What I was trying to say, the guy back there at the general store was like, this is the first cyber truck I've ever seen up here. He was a little bit concerned. He asked me about how much range the thing has. Do you have a generator or do you have like a battery backup system or something? I told him I don't, which I actually don't. Charging network showed me like I should be able to do this without a problem. Going back down, even if I'm 30% the, at the meadows, going back down, gonna all regenerate back into the battery. So that's the advantage of an EV that we have. So nobody's ever done this. We don't want to be the people that run out of juice and be in the news. Cyber truck got stuck in Monachi Meadow. We don't want to be the negative news on Tesla because I do believe electric vehicle is the future. So this is what I use. Everyone has a different, different way of doing it. Voila. And now it's gonna air down to uh, 36 PSI. That's what I have it set to. Off-road mode has been activated. Okay, we have a problem. This giant tree has fallen on the trail. Wow, this one definitely made a sound when it fell. Oh, it looks like people are coming from that side. And I see some tire marks on that side. So people are just going around it. South Fork River all the way next to a creek and we still have 53% that means 170 miles which is plenty right next to the river this is beautiful we should park the cyber truck right here to level the car you just hit this activate Yeah, perfectly level. We made it all the way. We got some food going on here. I'm a vegetarian, so we eat impossible. Yeah, we got some pasta coming in soon. And uh, all powered by the car. Yep, no problem. 
fire. It's not allowed. Check out this river. Never go off roading without a spare, so my spare is right there in the net. There's like a little cover thing covering it, but yeah, all this works. And we have a little heater right here. I'll bring it to my wife. I'm sure she's feeling cold. You're cold, honey? You got your heater. There you go. Yeah, you'll feel better. Okay, we're just about done. We're gonna start wrapping up. And then we have our Starlink just laying here, pointing at the open sky. So we had internet all night, connected to the car. I just gotta find a nice little spot up there to mount it. Just didn't, didn't have time. Just now, <laughs> we didn't come in stock Tesla tire. We came with VF Goodrich KO3s. So KO3s, and take a beating. These are 295s. A little close up there, but you can see, even with low air, it's doing just fine. It's not hitting anything. I had no rubbing. I had no problems with those tires. All night it was nice and warm. We had our little light over here. We were cooking, so we had this connected to our electric stove right here. And then the kids, they were able to sleep right here in the back. They had like a little bunk back bunk bed style setup one was on the top and then one was on the bottom we removed this uh, bottom tray so they can sleep easy so they had a good good night's sleep in there i mean we did have an extra tent which is in there a blue bag but uh we decided that maybe we don't <laughs> we don't want to open that in the middle of the night right baby <laughs> we found a little leopard here. Wah! <laughs> little leopard. She even went. All right, now she's trying to be a leopard. Beautiful place. This is the Fork River. So we were right here next to the river this whole time. We got some uh, dishwashing going on. Beautiful, beautiful place. By the way, I have to say that. Just staying right there next to the river. If I go a little bit back, you can see the truck and the river in the same spot.
just finished Monachi Meadow. We have 23% right now as we're going back to the In Your Kern charger. I think the cyber truck did great because we charged at In Your Kern. We had a heater running, we had an electric stove and stuff. So I think the cyber truck is doing pretty good. I would say it's 24% because we're going downhill. So we're gonna actually end up charging, going down this hill and just charging. So we're gonna arrive at the charger with 21%. And I think that's a successful trip. If you do go to Monachi Meadows in your Cybertruck, five people and a trunk bed full start with 100%. As long as you get to Monachi Meadow with 50%, you're good. We were at 34% at Monachi Meadows. It's 24%, 10% we lost since Monachi Meadows to here. So stay tuned. I'm gonna have more videos coming on this overlanding, off-road type stuff with the Cybertruck. And uh, we're gonna go places that I, I personally haven't seen cyber trucks or electric vehicles reach yet. Stay tuned, like, subscribe to the channel, and uh, we'll see you on the next video.